Very exciting day today as we fulfilled our entry target with grace and accuracy. Congratulations to those who caught my signal in the live stream. At one point, price action led to a nice 18% gainer before eventually retracing and closing at the comfortable 39 cent. Welcome back to the channel on this happy Monday. This is Arca and let's dive into ticker symbol ASRE. Let's kill him. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again. And let's dive in straight to ticker symbol ASRE. As you see here, team, this is actually the inflection point or a shorter time frame inflection point that we observed a few days ago and actually uh, early last week, I believe. And we were speculating about a long zone, which would be which would be located between the areas of 3403 and 3513. As you can see here, today's price action led to a low of 3480 where I did speak directly when we were in there. I said, team, if this is, if, if you're considering longing ASRE, this is the spot. This is the spot. Immediately 10 to 15 minutes later, price action eventually went up to 10%, led to 13%, 14, all the way up to even 18%. And beyond that, actually 19% and 19 spot, 67%, right before retracing and eventually closing the day off at about 39.05, right? So it's looking very nice still. I believe that the bulls are still in, it's still in, uh, still in control. And the price action here is just lingering around until we do get some nice news of which could be in line. I'm not sure, but we'll go ahead and speculate. Hourly time frame ASRE is currently sitting right at the VWAP support. So let's go ahead and observe this as we move along. We'll be making, uh, I'll be making sure to be streaming live team um anywhere between 6 30 and 6 40 a.m monday through friday right so that would be uh pacific time uh pacific standard time so go ahead and tune in to youtube where i'll be streaming and uh we'll be covering tickers like fngr gtii cosm viri uh i mean we were covering acb today we were covering lots of things today nvos all of the good ones right team so let's just go ahead and come by even tesla and meta and apple my goodness man the broader markets everything is being covered here so go ahead and tune in and uh, participate as we will uh, likely continue onwards and forwards as a team right so yeah uh, currently sitting at that vwap level here on the hourly time frame just below the just below the uh the mean band of the uh uh, Bollinger Band. So the indicator that you're looking at here is actually the uh, the sniper indicator. This is ARQ sniper that comes in the packages of your ARQ indicator subscription. Okay, team. So let's go ahead and just get rid of this one and see if we have any type of signals coming in for the uh, for, for uh, within the armor indicator, right? So that's going to be uh, the ARQ armor, which is the uh the strategy this gives us the long and short signals okay so uh in fact just about here we actually got a long signal printed at 39.91 so the algorithm is actually noticing a potential shift coming in so we're going to go ahead and see if it actually maintains that that uh, long signal and uh, as you can see here the 30 minute time frame as well is actually suggesting and maintaining that long signal too so uh I think, uh, yeah, I, I mean, look at this short signal here right before, and it actually got that downside. So let's just see if we're able to actually capitalize on this potential signal coming in long for the armor indicator, right? So let's go ahead and just take a look at a couple other things just to see if we have any other signals that can work for us, right? So uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 30 minute time frame, nothing. Let's look at the immediate short term. Let's see if we have anything of interest here for us, right? So, uh, ta, 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 ta. okay, so yeah, upon this downtrend here, you can see that the indicator signal that this trend is currently over and we're likely to start a new trend from here. Okay, so immediately after that blue triangle, which is significant of that, or uh, it signals that what I just mentioned, uh, we got the EMA2 crossing upside of the EMA8 printing this yellow triangle and we have a continuation suggestion the last five minute print here printed i'm sorry actually printed with a red diamond right but the one right before that printed with a yellow diamond suggesting a continuation to the upside so we will see 
what is happening within the price action here as we move into tomorrow. Okay, okay team. So, yeah, if you are interested in acquiring these indicators, please get in touch with us at arqindicators at gmail.com and we will get you situated with the subscription package. Please notice here that with, yeah, with just like Composer, right? We had that yellow triangle followed by a red triangle giving us an indecision. Please notice here that the uh, ARQ DBSI, which is the indicator that gives us relative strength, bears versus bulls by the closures of candles upside of the EMA thir uh, 13 and the closures below the EMA 13. That is how it gives us the strength value right up here. And you can see 50-50, right? So we are kind of at an indecision right now and we'll go ahead and take a look. But to be honest with you, team, I do believe that the bears, that the bulls are absolutely in control. Take a look at your hourly time frame: bull strength versus bears. 89% massive, massive upside strength here while taking into consideration the ARQ DBSI indicator. So now notice here too that we are printing these X's, right? So what those X's mean is, is that when we are currently in a, in a, in a certain trend, when these X's come up, that means consolidation followed by potential reversal. So in this point, reversal, not to the downside because we're already on the downside, right? That's right. Reversal could be the higher the higher probability here, 89% probability that we would get the upside coming in very shortly. On the four-hour time frame, I do have to point this out, though. This was a very, very awesome uh, uh, hammer candle printed right here, right? So this is a huge shakeout before immediate recovery. And we're actually combating the EMA 13 right now, closing at 3905. But this is this is just showing us that we are now batting against that resistance level, and we are likely to make an upside move from here. Okay, team. So you can see price action. I'm sorry, volume and price action are starting to make an ascent here. So there could be an indication, an early indication for a continuation to the upside. Statistically speaking, volatility represented by this indicator BBWP. Uh, sorry, if I could just do this. Here we go. BBWP, right? Uh, paired with stochastic momentum, uh, this is a historical volatility backtest that I've actually performed throughout the entire trading history of ASRE on the five-day chart. So uh, any time that volatility has contracted into the critical zone, which uh, is within the 15 percentile, I've actually taken note of any time that has happened, and then we started an expansion phase, right? So into the contraction zone, out of the out of the contraction into expansion, paired with an upside pivot of stochastics. I've uh, taken note of the uh, duration of the iteration, the upside thrust, and the amount of times that the profile of uh, volatility versus momentum have guessed the upside correctly versus incorrectly. In this case, ASRE on the five-day time frame have, has guessed the upside seven out of seven times, giving us a 100% read. Know that the, at some point, this is going to start to deviate, and it's not going to be reading a 100% as per nature, right? So, <laughs> so eventually, this is going to start to actually balance out very nicely. But for now, the signal is still very accurate, and it's still suggesting an upside, and we have been facing this upside for quite some time now. So the average upside thrust based on the based on the criteria that I just spoke of, right, is a is a massive 435 spot, 88 percent completed over the span of about 21 spot, 14 days. I have calculated the standard deviation from this mean and the standard deviation comes up to a massive 875 spot, 17 percent, which is the 68 percent of the results on a bell curve. Right. So that is what you're looking at here as the uh, as the regular performers, the standard performers right now. I have also calculated the upper bound and lower bound of the first standard deviation. In this case, the upper bound of the first standard deviation is leading to a massive 1300 percent move to the upside. And of course, the lower bound of the first standard deviation came out to a negative value. So, you know, that in statistics or if you do know. Or don't, well, now you will, right? The negative values are unusable in statistics. So let's go ahead and now take a look at those upside targets, right? So first of all, the 435% mean, right? Your upside thrust, that is leading to the top side right here at 5044. And that gives you a range between 4710 of the 1 spot 618 geometric Fibonacci retracement level and the statistical side of 5044. We are currently sitting at 3905, so that is the next probability here. And in order for us to continue on to that upside, we must meet two things that are critically important for this to continue to the upside. First of all, we need expanding volatility and we need an upside pivot on stochastic momentum. And guess what? We have them both. So the up so the uh, likelihood 
of a continuation to the upside is guess what? Well, yeah, but <laughs> I, I, it's like so silly to say it, right? I can't even really vocalize that because that's so ridiculous. It's just, it, it's got to, it's got to correct sometime, right? But, <laughs> but so far is incredibly accurate. The target that I'm really, that I'm really looking out for here, team, is actually the completion of the uh, first standard dv i'm sorry the upper bound of the first standard deviation would be that 1311 spot 05 percent move to the upside which would be indicative of price action reaching a top side target of one dollar and 31 cents of course you know i have to make this a range the nearest resistance would be located at about one dollar and 67 cents i do believe that price action has a strong probability of reaching this here i mean you can already see that we're building this macro bull flag here it could be a continuation signal and the first one of a couple here so let's just go ahead and see if we can get bull flag to bull flag to bull flag here and see what what happens right but it was a very unique opportunity today and i did express how important it was that target that we reached to the uh, that we reached today right that it, that was my long zone and we signaled it i know a lot of people capitalized on that so very much a congratulations owed to you okay team so uh as we are currently moving to the upside here we are actually experiencing an incline of uh, volume here. So now if we observe the accumulation distribution indicator, please notice here that we are still accumulating this asset right now, right? So it's still in reaccumulation here. So as soon as we can reach some of those really critical high targets that we're talking about, 131 and up, maybe we can start a short-term distribution before eventually reaccumulating again and continuing, right team? So let's just go ahead and observe price action. And you know that I'm actually streaming, right? Again, 6.30 to 6.40 a.m., typically Monday through Friday on YouTube, okay? So come by, come hang out, participate, and hang out with the family. Lots of intelligent people there. Lots of good vibes. Don't bring the drama. Let's just bring the cash, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at the monthly time frame resistance on the Gaussian band. Check it out. 54.23 would be the next area of resistance and guess what 45 cents marks margin call so if this thing catches the 45 cent margin call that is going to be that is going that little resistance is going to be the least of our worries in fact look at the top side of the monthly gaussian band what is that telling you to the right of the screen team that is right you are looking at one dollar and thirty cents which is absolutely confluent to the volatility versus, uh, I'm sorry, to the uh, momentum versus volatility back test of $1.31 of the upper bound of the first standard deviation at 1300% to the upside, aka your geometric golden mean two spot 618. Tell me that that is not absolute magic happening before your eyes. I am absolutely loving this. It is suggesting a continuation here, team, and we'll go ahead and observe that price action as we move. Very impressive uh, support grab here on the SMA 14 on the 30-minute time frame here. We want to see that this has enough strength to pull to the upside here. It is entering the gravitational zone of the bear weakness percentile here, so this is likely to continue on to the upside uh, slowly but surely, right? So now another thing to look at and observe here is, in fact, your bi-hourly time frame as it's currently sitting right at the support of the SMA 14. Let's see if we can actually get it because we're in the gravitational zone here of bear weakness, which would mean that we can face the support from the SMA 14, the gravitational zone and bounce to the upside. We will see how that goes, okay, team? So now observing this, this topside resistance on the four hour and also on the eight hour that we have that resistance on that uh, SMA 14, I do have to say that it is a resistance, but please remember this the SMA 14 landing in the gravitational zone too. Very impressive times here. Gravitational zone on the eight hour, t eight hour time frame as well, meaning that the RSI signal moving towards that upside has a good chance to succeed the upside of the SMA 14, eventually break into the opposing side's gravitational zone here of the bear of the bull strength percentile, reject from that gravitational zone and use the SMA 14 and the gravitational zone of the bear of the bull weakness percentile as a support and bounce for a continuation to the upside. The upper time frames are still suggesting downsides here, but these are going to have to be reactive first by the cascading effect of the shorter time frames first. So these are going to mitigate the uh, upper time frames. They will likely give us that direction first. Okay, team, it is looking very nice. I'm sorry this uh, this video came up a little bit longer than normal, but I do expect ASRE to face a little bit of consolidation, but mostly I am expecting a top side of 50, uh, 50, uh, what is it? Uh, 
I guess 54-23, right? It might be achieved tomorrow. It might be achieved the next day, but it's looking like a high likelihood right here, team. And also remember that we have the confirmation candle from a macro closure, okay? So first of all, this is a buy formation breakout, bullish buy formation breakout. So you're looking at a bullish engulfing here, right? Green candle engulfing the red candle and paired with a massive hammer, can a hammer candle here. And this, the candle, the following candle, usually after a hammer, is the validator for a continuation to the upside. And guess what? We got that validation, and this would be the candle here, of which I said, team, do not expect for us to just go straight to the upside. There's going to be some deviation here. There's going to be some uh, consolidation before we can make that upside. Remember, it's a monthly closure. Moving in into the bi-monthly closure, remember that too. We actually just got that closure of that bullish buy formation as well. So we got that huge bullish engulfing into that hammer candle after a downtrend. And now we're we're experiencing the first candle that would be the validator for a continuation to the upside in a bi-monthly. So very similar, very similar to the monthly time frame here. It's only signaling very bullish price action to come from this asset. Okay, team, very, very exciting. Please take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment as I cannot suggest for you to buy, sell, or hold any assets whatsoever. I need you to do your own due diligence and everything would be absolutely cool, cool. But with that said, team, I wish you well. A very, 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 very good night. And I will catch you at the bell. Manana. Adios.